Hey guys, it's Lizbeth from Lizbeth Books, and I'm here today to do my November TBR. So, I'm going to only list like 10 books again because I feel like that makes me read more books if I just have a smaller TBR than like a big one because that just stresses me out. So these are like the 10-ish or so, I didn't actually count, but it's the smallest pile next to me. And these are the books I hope to read in November. If I don't get to them, whatever. If I read other ones, whatever. But this is what I feel like reading. Right now, at least. So I want to read Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, which is the third book in the Hunger Games series. The movie's coming out, so I want to reread it before I see the movie, because I reread the first one and the second one this year, and they, I really don't like them, at, actually. Like, I really don't like how they're written. I feel like they're pretty badly written. I like the stories, but I feel like they're very badly written books, and... So I don't really want to reread this one, but I want to reread it to see the movie and kind of know what's going on more. And yeah, hopefully it's good. I remember I didn't really like it the first time I read it, but that was literally four or five years ago. So I'm going to try to give it another chance. Read The Designated Ugly Fat Friend, or The Duff, or Duff, I'm not really sure, by Cody Keplinger, and she was actually like 18, I want to say. Yeah, like she's 18 years old and she wrote this book. Like, that's crazy. I don't know. So I'm really interested to read this, and I don't know anything about it really. Like, I guess it's probably a friend who thinks she's fat or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to read it. Then I really want to read Finding Cinderella which is a novella by Colleen Hoover, and I'm pretty sure it's like to do with the Hopeless series. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a novella with that. And so I love the Hopeless and like losing hope, so I want to read Finding Cinderella to see what that one's about. Then I want to read Rec Requiem <laughs> by Lauren Oliver. This is the third book in the Delirium series, and I'm borrowing this one from my friend. And I want to read it because the last one ended in like a cliffhanger and I'm super intrigued to see what happens next. I know a lot of people said you will hate this book and like be disappointed with it. So I'm really scared. But I want to know what happens so I want to read this one. Then I would like to read Just One Year by Gail Foreman. I loved Just One Day. I read that one in August I believe. And it was so good. I love all of her books that I've read. So I really want to read this one to see the point of, I think it's in Willem's point of view. And I don't know, I just really liked Willem and so I just, I just want to see, I just want to see what happens. Then from the library I borrowed Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. And again, I love like Hex Hall and I liked School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins. So I'm super excited to read this one. I really don't know anything about it. I know a lot of people say it's like Buffy mixed with something, like Buffy mixed with Gossip Girl or something like that, so I'm really intrigued what that means, and I, I don't know. I just, I just want to read it. Everybody read this like a year ago for like a book explosion, book of the month or something, and I like wasn't into, I never did that, so I'm gonna try to read it now. Then from, also from the library, I borrowed The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, and I want to read this one. I really don't know. Again, I don't know like what any books are about. I try not to read what a book about is about anymore because I feel like it kind of spoils the book for me and I kind of want to go into books like not really knowing what's going to happen and then, I don't know, I just, I think I like it a lot better. It makes, I think it makes the story a lot better when I'm not sure what's going to happen. So I really don't know what this one's about at all. I think it's becoming a movie, but I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited to read it. And then these are the books I already have started this month, so I hope hopefully we'll finish them. So I have Pendragon, book six, The Rivers of the Daw started, and I don't want to tell you about it because I'll tell you about it in my wrap-up, but it's just six Pendragon book. And I'm like, how many pages am I into it? I am 208 pages in, so about halfway through it. And so I hopefully will pick it back up this month and read more of it. Then I also have The Unbound, and this is the second book in the Archived series, and by Victoria Schwab. And I will hopefully, I'm really not that far into this, I'm pretty sure I'm only like, yeah, I'm 14 pages into this, so not really that far. 
But hopefully I will pick this up and finish it this month. I really, really, really liked the archived. Like, I thought it was super good. And so I want to see what happens next. And I like how my nails are, like, matching. Yeah. Okay. Then I have Say What You Will started by Cammie McLaurin. Lovin? Lauren? Lovin? I, I cannot read what that says. Okay. But it's by her. And, um, this is so good. I am literally almost done with this, but I have, I'm on 276, and there's, like, this much left. But it is so good. Like, I actually really, really like this book. I'm super scared what's going to happen. I'm, like, terrified right now, and I, like, don't want to finish it because I'm scared. It's going to be sad, but it's really good so far. And finally... You all know what I have started and I'm not done with. It is the Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Did I read 10 pages every day? No. No, I did not. I said I would, and I literally read this for like 20 minutes, like two days ago. And I'm now on page 160. Yay! So I'm farther than I was, but only by like 50 pages. Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna, for real, real gonna read 10 pages right right I'm gonna try I'm also gonna try to do NaNoWriMo this November so wish me luck and I don't really know what story I want to read but I signed up and everything so I'm gonna try to write but I also want to read and we'll see how this goes but yeah guys that was my November TBR and I hope you guys enjoyed tell me what you want to read this month and yeah thank you guys bye guys